Hi, this is Jeff at Magical Fruit Toots. This video will help you upsize a low resolution picture in order to see it more clearly or to print it better. Also, you may want to cut a small area out of an existing image and blow it up. There are some plugins out there, mostly for a fee, that may help you, but in most cases there is no substitute for the human eye. In this video, I will show you a method that will make the process easier. Since most of your brushwork will be done non-destructively, you can easily correct things as you go after the fact. We will start out with a beach picture. This is Aberdeen Beach by Richard Slesser. See the description area for a link to the picture. The picture was originally 640 by 480 pixels and 72 pixels per inch. This is the largest resolution available. So in order to print it properly or display it for a larger screen, we are going to change its resolution to 300 pixels per inch, effectively increasing its resolution by four times. Open the picture in Photoshop. Select Image, Image Size. Make sure constrained proportions and resample image boxes are checked. Make sure the bicubic smoother method is also chosen. Change the resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Press OK. First, double click the background layer and name it Blur. Then duplicate that layer and name it Work. Select the Blur layer and turn off the eye on the Work layer. If you zoom in the picture uh, to the girl here, you can see that there's areas of disruption around her. These are artifacts and inconsistencies uh, due to the resolution. Also in the water here, we can see this little uh, pattern here that really doesn't belong there. These are the things that we are going to try to fix. Next, we are going to put a smart blur on the blur layer. Choose Filter, Blur, Smart Blur. Change the quality to High. Use the hand to drag to an area of the picture that you know has problems on it, such as the girl. Notice that on the girl here, there's a little square blotches here, that means your threshold needs to be adjusted because you don't want to see little square spots. So raise your threshold into when these little squares disappear and become little shadows. In this case, I'm going to about 53 and 53.5. While we're at it, Let's look at a few other areas and see if there's any problems here. Yeah, here's some things that would, the squares would have been a problem, but we did fix it by raising the threshold. Okay, I'd say that's pretty good, so we'll click OK. And our Blur settings are set up. Select the work layer and turn on its eye. Add a layer mask to it by choosing the layer mask icon on the bottom of the panel. Select the brush tool. Make sure a soft round brush is selected. I use size about 20 to start out with. Make sure black is selected as your foreground color and make sure that the white layer mask is selected on the work layer not the colored mask on the left. Now we will use a soft round brush, approximately size 20, to paint over areas in the picture that are pixelated and choppy. Basically when we paint in black here, 
we are allowing the blurred picture to show through where we paint. Artifacts and choppy pixels occur in areas that change from light to dark and in areas that have gradual color changes. We zoom into the picture and find those areas and paint over them, showing the blurred copy below. You do not want to paint over edges, writing, or fine detail that should be shown. I've speeded up this part of the video to save your time. We're starting out here on the sand area. Paint over flat areas of colors that show aberrations. In other areas, such as inside the foamy waves, you can reduce the brush opacity to, say, 50% so that some of the white choppiness of the wave still shows through. Also reduce brush opacity for other areas that need some but less blurring. Because we are using a la layer masks, we are non-destructively modifying the picture. If you make a mistake, you can easily correct it by painting over it in white. Then switch back to black and continue. Try not to get too carried away. You don't want to paint over everything, just those areas that look a little unnatural. Since you are zooming in to see some of the problems, they will probably look better unzoomed. So we're still painting the sand and we're carefully painting around the people and objects uh, in the sand. I have increased the brush size for large areas that I know are very choppy and we zoom in on the br brush size for smaller areas such as around the heads of the people and around their bodies and, and, and stuff like that. So continue painting the sand and the flat areas of the tide and we will uh, move to the tide uh, shortly. At this point we'll start working on the waves. The waves portion has been sped up also to save time. I'm going over many of the waves here at 50 percent to leave uh, a little bit of the foam to show through. I'm going over other areas adjusting the size of the brush and adjusting the opacity as necessary. Now for example here I painted over this guy. I'm changing to white brush. I fixed it. Now I'm back to blush, uh, black brush. Go over the area of the mountains in the back. I'm still at 50%. That's not enough, so I move it over to 100% and continue on the way over there. Occasionally I will have to uh, change the opacity up and down. Some things I don't want to be really heavy, but for example around that tower right there, we do want 100% opacity to remove the artifacts. Some of the water, with the, especially the water with the little uh, choppiness in it, we want to go to 50%. But you can adjust that according to your liking. Uh, I'm going over the entire picture and trying to find artifacts. If I don't catch them all, uh, it's not a big deal. You can always go back and continue uh, putting more black area in that white mask. And another thing we can do is uh, once the picture, once we're finished with the editing of this picture, we can merge uh, the blur layer and the main layer and work on it further uh, by using uh, maybe the blur tool or maybe the sharpen tool in various areas or possibly the clone stamp. However, the ma majority of the choppiness will be removed using this method. Right now I am uh, tidying up the waves a bit. Looks to me at this point we need about 100% there. 
a lot of these areas look okay in the picture as you see it on the screen but if you went to print it uh, especially on a large piece of paper you're gonna get all kinds of artifacts and it's gonna look not too good so continue touching it up fix it up as much as you can you can always go back and retouch up or undo whatever you've done by painting white over the uh, area that is of concern I think I've got just about everything done here but I would ordinarily spend more time than this on it but we've only got so much time on a video now you may ask why not just smart blur the entire picture well if we did that then we'd end up blurring areas that are sharp and need to be sharp at this point the majority of the work is done however there might be a little bit of touch-up that you need to do uh, for example I noticed that down in this area here there's a few squarish looking artifacts so to correct that we make a new layer on top of the work layer we're making a new layer so if we make a mistake we can just correct it on the new layer and it doesn't affect our work that we've done so far on the work layer so let's just call this touch up and we'll go to the blur tool I've got it set at normal and 93 percent strength you might want to play around with those numbers but basically we want to blur out those little squares and artifacts that are unnatural these really are shadows or streaks in the sand and the uh, engine is showing them up as squares when they're really not so I'll fix these up here and see if there's any more a little more right here that we might want to work with about does it at this point I would save my work and then I would merge the layers this picture right here should be the final picture unless you decide to do any more touch up in which case we would move forward from there at this point we're done with the video